And as I was telling you, you can't make bricks without a straw. That's why you need to study hard. Not only reviewing this class at home, also reading the book I told you to read. After all, Rome wasn't built in a day, so you need to work hard every single day to improve. Now, if you have any questions, I will be uploading your grades in my office. You can go there and ask me any questions about this or any other class, okay? See you guys! Alright, now I only need to upload these grades and let's see how my students are going. Hello, Mr. Porter. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I would like to ask you some questions. Hello, Rick. Don't worry. Tell me. How can I help you? Yeah, what is that thing you said? It was, you can't make bricks without a straw? What do you mean? You didn't understand what the phrase mean? Is that it? Exactly, there are some phrases I would like to know what they mean. Is it too much? No, of course not. You can ask me any question. I am your teacher, remember? Excellent. And also, what does Rome wasn't built in a day mean? That one too. Of course, son. Just let me finish with these grades and let's go to the classroom. You can't make bricks without a straw. Means you cannot do something correctly without the necessary resources. And Rome wasn't built in a day means that it takes a long time to do an important job. Is it clear for you? Or you want me to give you more examples so you can understand? No, that was a very good explanation, but I have more questions about phrases and idioms. That's okay, you can ask me any question. I taught you many phrases and idioms. Yeah, last time you said to us, I hope you get a great score in your exam, guys. Break a leg. Oh, that expression means good luck. For example, if you have a competition, you say, hey, break a leg. Oh, I see. I thought you wanted us to break a leg or something like that. I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> also, you can say knock him dead. It also means good luck. Knock him dead. Amazing. And what does go back to the drawing board mean? I've heard that. Oh, it means to start over. For example, if you did something wrong and you have to do it again. But from the very beginning, like when you do your homework wrongly, you know that. Example. Rick, this homework is awful. Go back to the drawing board, please. I see. That's great. You know, we had the chance to talk to foreign years last time? Of course I know. I organized that for you, so you can practice your English language. Well, they used a lot of phrases I don't understand. For example, pull someone's leg. 
Oh, pulling someone's leg means to joke with someone when you want to joke with a friend. For example, last time Patricia played a practical joke on you, then she pulled your leg. Nice! And what about Speak of the Devil? David said that the last time. Oh, it is used when the person we were just talking about showed up suddenly. Hmm, I really don't get it. Can you please make an example with that? Of course. For example, right now, we're talking about David, right? Okay, then imagine he just show up now. We will say, speak of the devil, here he is. I get it now, thank you. And what does don't cry over spilled milk mean? My mom said that to me. Your mom told you that? And when did she exactly tell you that? What was the situation? Well, I was so sad because I have failed in my exams and I felt terrible that day. But I was not crying. That's why I don't understand what she meant that day. <laughs> I see. It is not necessary you literally cry when you use this expression. Don't cry over spilled milk means don't feel bad over what has happened, as it cannot be fixed. Oh, yeah, I thought it was something like that. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes feeling sad about something doesn't make any change, and it's not necessary. I get it now. And what is, every cloud has a silver lining. Mom also says that often. Oh, that is one of my favorite phrases. It means bad things one day eventually lead to good things. Oh, like when you feel bad because you arrived late, but then the exam is cancelled? Exactly. Sometimes good things come after some bad moments, you know. I know, teacher. Mom is from London, <laughs> that's why she speaks English perfectly. I suppose so. And have you ever heard your mom say that you are a black sheep? Mm, not that I can remember. Wait, not my mom, but my aunt said that to her son. Seriously? <laughs> well, that phrase means that person is a disgrace for the family. What? <laughs> oh my god. Well, he's not a quiet person. Probably. Well, there's at least one black sheep in every family. <laughs> I suppose so. Are you a black sheep teacher? Maybe you are terrible. Hey, stop there, Rick. I'm going to draw the line here because you can't say those things to me. Draw the line? What do you mean by that? I seriously don't get it, teacher. Alright, it means to stop before a point where something okay gets not okay. Oh, I understand. I'm sorry, teacher. I didn't mean it. My apologies. That's okay. You're learning, and that's something really good, Rick. Really good. 
Just one more, please, because I know you have to work. What does call it a day mean? Oh, that's what I'm going to do now. <laughs> I'm gonna call it a day because I'm too tired to keep working. So it means to stop working or something like that? Did I understand well that phrase? That's perfect, yeah. Call it a day means to stop working for the day. Excellent. Cool. Well, I think I'm leaving now, teacher. Thank you very much for your help. My pleasure, Rick. If you have any other question any other day, just come to me. I will, Mr. Parter. You are one of the best teachers I have ever had in my life. <laughs> you make me blush, Rick. You're lying when you say that. <laughs> and what does you make me blush mean? Sorry, I'm just curious. The last one. Okay, but this is the last one, okay? It means you are flattering me or embarrassing me. Oh, okay. Oh, goodbye, teacher. Have a nice day. Take care. I hope you liked this conversation. If you could improve your English a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend. And if you want to support this channel, you can join us or click on the super thanks button. Thank you very much for your support. Take care.